everyone, Renee here. Welcome to my channel. If you're looking for a quick, easy, healthy chicken nugget recipe that's made in the air fryer or the oven, then you've come to the right place. It is so simple. I really hate to call this even a recipe because it's that simple and easy to make, kid-friendly, everybody in my house likes it, and there's a variety of ways that you can do it to make it work for you and your family. So I make this both gluten-free and regular, and it tastes delicious either way. So I'm gonna show you what I have here, and we'll get started right away. Okay, so I have, this is a gluten-free panko breadcrumbs, but you can either use that or simply regular panko, okay? So either one, these two are interchangeable, whatever you would like. And then you also need just regular breadcrumbs. And this one, again, is gluten-free, but you can also buy Italian breadcrumbs, regular, whatever type of breadcrumbs you would like. You just need the panko and the other, simple. Easy as that. And then I also have a chicken seasoning here. And again, you can use your favorite chicken seasoning. This has become one in our house. This is a place, you know, just a little bit north of us that we love, and it just takes your chicken up a notch. So make sure that you have a good chicken seasoning, and I will let you know how we use that. I also have this avocado cooking spray, which we are going to use to help the breadcrumbs stick to the chicken. And this is one of my favorites. I get this from Costco. I also get one from Trader Joe's. This one might be the Trader Joe's one, but I get it from both. This has become an easy, quick way to do this chicken. Barely any prep work. Okay, so that is the basics. That's all that you need. And then of course you need your chicken. So for today's video, I have a few I have one chicken cut up into chicken nugget sizes because that's what my twins like. And then I also have a chicken tender one. So I just buy the big bag from Costco and I use that in all of my recipes because I think it's quick and easy. I love the taste of them. So it's just skinless, boneless chicken tender ones from Costco, but you can use breasts, whatever you would like. Okay, so now that we have that done, I'm gonna show you how I mix up the breadcrumb mixture. All right, so first I take the panko breadcrumbs and you will taste two tablespoons of that, or as much as you would like. So let me give you my fun little equation and I'll put this down in the description below. It is two to one ratio of bread, of panko breadcrumbs to regular breadcrumbs, that's it. So if you do one tablespoon of the panko, then you would do half a tablespoon of the regular breadcrumbs. Easy as that, easy to remember, but because of the amount of chicken we're using, I'm doing two tablespoons here of the panko and one tablespoon of the regular breadcrumbs. So that's all you have to remember, two to one panko to regular breadcrumbs. And I put it in my nice little bowl, kind of shake it up. And then I will add some of the chicken seasoning, so whichever seasoning you feel, and I literally just sprinkle it on. And again, we just kind of shake. There is no like scientific to this. I literally wanted to be able to make my girls healthy chicken nuggets, homemade chicken nuggets with no preservatives. And this is what I came up with because I wanted it as quick and easy as the frozen ones, but no preservatives. Okay, so now, <laughs> nothing fancy, like I said. I just take my spray. First, I wanna make sure that all of my chicken, none of it is stacked, that it's all in a single layer because then I'm just gonna take my spray, one little spray there, and now I will flip it over and I flip these pieces over and we kind of get it in that oil that I just sprayed. You can do another spray if you need. I don't always feel like I need to. And then I just take these and I'm gonna plop them in there and I'll do this tenderloin after. So now I have all my chicken in here. I put my lid on and we shake, 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 shake. That's all we do. This chicken is done. Just make sure that the breadcrumbs stick to it. Now I kind of check it out. Yep, it looks perfect. So this is what they look like once they come out of there. And of course I kind of, some of the pieces seem they didn't get it. But that's what it looks like. It's all set to go. We've got it all ready, and now I am just going to dip this other chicken in the breadcrumbs, and I will throw this in the air fryer, and we'll be right back. Like I said, so simple, so easy. I cannot wait for you to try this recipe, but let me get this cooked up, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. I'm back, and the chicken is cooked. It smells delicious. I wish you could smell this through your computer, or your phone, whatever you're watching me on, because it smells so good. So I cooked this chicken, at 390 for about eight minutes. Just kind of check it, but that's usually what works for us and it gets it crispy on the outside and nice and juicy on the inside, which is exactly how you want your chicken nuggets. And trust me, they taste even better than the frozen ones. My twins, who are my pickiest eater, will tell everybody that mommy's homemade chicken nuggets are their favorite. And I will tell you, you can make these in the oven as well. 
but you will not get the same crispy effect as you will in the air fryer. The air fryer gives you a nicer, crispier coating, almost like you're deep frying without the oil. So just know that. But if you cook them in the oven, I would say do it pretty high, about 425 for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how large your chicken pieces are. So obviously the bigger your chicken pieces, the longer it needs. But this is what they look like. They crisp up so well, and how simple is that? So just a little bit of oil spray, and then you just shake them in the breadcrumb mixture, and that's it. And you can enjoy quick and easy homemade chicken nuggets anytime. So you don't really, you don't have to waste your time on the frozen chicken. And I have really started to make these, especially because my twins won't eat anything else. So as a mom, it's very frustrating, but this is a meal that everybody in my house can love, and you can make them ahead of time, and you can even freeze them once you make them, and then you have your own homemade frozen chicken nuggets, and they just heat them up in the air fryer or the oven. So it's as easy as that. I will leave this information in the description below. Let me know what other recipes you wanna see here on my channel. I love making healthy recipes in my kitchen. I love cooking in my kitchen. Now, I will tell you, I don't do it as often as I was like because having four kids home, especially during the summer, is just nuts. But when you can make up these quick, easy, family-friendly meals, why not? So let me know what you think. Please give this a try and a like and subscribe down below. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.